Previously on The Bill. I told you, I'm the best copper in the world. Kathy, it's June. Are those kids all right? I'm not talking to anyone but Brandon. That's all I've got to say. And, and I promise you, I will come straight back. Okay? Brandon. She let them out? I don't think so. What's going on? No, it's the heat and maintenance guy. Kathy's knocked him out. She's armed with what? I don't know. Look, we'll get them out safely. No, I will. 158 to 48. Sergeant paramedics have arrived. And Brandon's on his way down to the boiler room. Inside, guys. Cheers. Uh, darling, why are you doing this? Look, that ballroom's not a healthy place for the children to be. Can I get you a drink or something? The kids must be hungry as well. No, get him out! Oh, 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 get out of here! Just get out of my way! Brandon, out! Sorry! Jordan! It's Danny! Daddy! You, sweetheart, you don't worry. I, I'm here. Is Jordan okay? Let my kids out, then I'll listen. You never have before. While I've got them, maybe you will. Not if you hurt them. Not if you hurt them. You're not going to get a thing. You hear me, Kathy? Hey! They can go. Fine. No, Kathy, we need to give this more thought. There's nothing to think about. There's nothing to talk. What do you want? What do you want from me? Another. Those hostages are my kids. I know, I know, I know. But we can't hand her all the power. We have to find out what this is about first. It's about me. Our priority is the children's safety. Look, she's more likely to harm Brandon. With the kids, with the kids, they're just bait. I can look after myself. My kids can't. Are you sure you're up for this? Yes. Look, I think we're really rushing this. No. Oh, Brandon, you know, you're a dad. You yes. should understand. I don't want her to change her mind. I think we need to look at other options first. No, there are no other options. Any parent would do exactly the same. There's no way he's going in there without some protection. I'll get you some gear. Thanks, Neil. And when the kids are safe and Brandon's in there, what then? Then we want Kathy out of there. I understand. It's not that simple. 
We don't know what her plan is. And we don't have a strong one ourselves. Kathy's clearly a very disturbed woman, especially where you're concerned. Now, Brandon, you have every right to be angry, but we can't afford to take any risks. And she's already outwitted the entire relief. That ends today. Brandon! Okay, let's do this. Keep it simple. Kathy! I'm ready, let my kids out. Which one do you want? That wasn't the deal, you said both. Well, I've changed my mind. She's already changing the goalposts. If we intervene, we might not get either of them. Make your choice, Brandon. Jordan. Me, Daddy, me! Sweetheart. You've got to be a brave girl for Daddy now. Jordan's, Jordan's little and, and you're so big. If we let Jordan come out, then I can come in there and I can be with you. Open the door so they can see me, Kathy. Oh, God. All right, look at me. Look at me. He's been drugged. Eva. You go with Eva. I'm gonna go in and get your sister out. I'm waiting, Brandon. I'm coming in now. Zoe. Shut the door. Daddy. It's great to see you, Brad. You got Zoe. I'm giving the orders. Barricade the door. We better have an ambulance and the fire brigade on standby. Call in the TSG. TSG? We don't know what our game is. Well, she's a police officer, so she's going to be second guessing our every move. Then we better stay ahead of her. Safest thing to do is evacuate. I'm not wearing a wire. I know every curve of you, Brandon. Stab vest. Take it off. Once you've let Zoe go, I want her to be checked by a doctor. She's fine. I've looked after them both really well. I think I'm a natural mother. <laughs> what did you give them? How much? Just something to quieten them down. What? <laughs> don't they? You stay there. Sweetheart, don't move. Do what Kathy says. Haven't you put my kids through enough? Haven't you put me through enough? You see, Zoe, what Daddy's never understood is that I love him. And I won't be in this situation if you give me a chance. I could have made us all so happy. We're trying to get the call. We're evacuating. Anybody not needed here is to report to Barton Street. What's happening? My brand has managed to negotiate with Kathy to let Jordan out. Great. Yeah, but in exchange for himself. It's not the ideal scenario. They're trying to coach Jordan to go into St. Hughes, but he won't say anything or go anywhere. I'll take him. Yeah, paramedics checking him over now. Well, maybe it'd be better with somebody that he knows. If that mad woman lets Zoe out, I can be here for them both. Yeah. Yeah, all right, but keep your head down. Nice massage. All right, I'll go back up there. 
Teddy, take me home, please. I don't want to stay here. Just shut up. She's scared, Kathy. You're mad. Get rid of her. Thank you. Sweetheart, you need to listen to me and do exactly what I tell you, right? Girl, when that door opens, you're not to run. There are steps there. You go carefully and slowly. You go straight to a lady called Gina. She's going to look after you. Come with me. Come with it. I, I need to stay and have a chat with Kathy. What are you whispering about? Share it with me. She told me she loves me. I said the same back. Haven't you got a lovely dad? Leave my daddy alone. Right. Gina, Zoe's coming out. I'm waiting for you outside here, Zoe. I'm opening the door now. No tricks. No tricks, Kathy. Go. Go. You're right now, darling. You're right now. Shut the door. You're right now. Get you a drink and something to eat, yeah? Teddy said so. That Kathy's got a knife. Right. That was very silly. Now you're part of the deal. temporarily closed. It's, right. it's due to a prisoner who you think might be infectious. I'm sure Barton Street Police Station will be able to help you. Okay, many okay. thanks. Bye. Right, that's the line we're taking. Right. We don't need any unwanted media attention. Okay, Sergeant. 4-8 to Sierra Oscar 5-2. Evacuation is complete. Central Command Control at New Scotland Yard know that Sun Hill's now being operated from Barton Street. All incoming calls are being rerouted. Over. Sierra Oscar 5-2 to 4-8. Thanks, Jim. The window's too small to gain access. Removing that grill would create too much noise anyway. TSG could storm it via the main entrance. Uh, Kathy may have the knife to his throat. In the seconds it takes to get through that door, Brandon could be dead. Jim, go first, Jim. Sarge. They can't tell what Kathy's given him. No, but they found antidepressants in her flat. Well, they didn't do her much good, did they? 
Well, the hospital will do blood checks and hopefully they'll be okay. Brandon will get that bitch now. <sighs> Don't be nervous, it's only me. <sighs> only you, who kidnapped and drugged my kids, who burned down my home, who murdered my wife. in this station as her stage for nothing. Now, she could be intending to give herself up, or she could be opting for suicide by cop. Well, if she wants to die, does she intend taking Brandon with her? MIT had been trawling through her flat and all her possessions. Maybe she wrote something down. Thoughts, feelings. See if they can come up with anything that might give us a clue about what she was thinking. Sir. You need to know what's going on in that boiler room. Get on to technical support, see if there's any way they can run a probe in. You don't do anything by accident. It was, I swear. You've just admitted to it. And you know that I've seen the tape. No, you saw a tape of me and Tanya meeting in the car park. You didn't see or hear what happened. Tell me. Well, she was going to take your kids to Scotland. That was months before. Oh, I remember how upset you were. You thought Tanya was punishing you, using the kids to do it. It was a nightmare. You needed someone to talk to. I was glad to listen. People talk about their home life all the time at work. You weren't special. She was being so selfish. It was all about her, a new job, new relationship. She didn't care about you or the kids. She was going to take them to the other end of the country. There's nothing you could have done about it. See, it's thanks to me that Zoe and Jordan are still in London. What? Well, they drink drive an offence, silly. You did that? Yeah, well, I knew you were too honest to play as dirty as her. But you weren't. Yeah, she needed a license for a new job. No license, no job. Took a bit of doing, but you were so happy it was really worth it. Oh, you're still bleeding. Five of you, come on, bring all your gear, come on. a working relationship, nothing else. Hardly. We slept together. Surely you haven't forgotten that. Obviously, it was more memorable for you than it was for me. What is it you've wanted from me? Once Tanya was dead, what? Was I supposed to fall into your arms? I didn't ask for any of this. From the very beginning, you chose me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you think so.
Sir, this is Inspector Hewlett, TSG. Welcome. What's the situation? We need a team on standby outside the incident. There's not a lot of space, so this area needs to be kept as calm as possible. We'll approach quietly. Good. Sir, there's an air vent uh, here. Technical support think they can get a probe in there without being detected. How long? They're already working on it. Progress. I need to know. I need you to tell me now why you killed my wife. Your wife was sleeping with other women in the same house as your children. It was disgusting. I told her you thought so. The asp that killed Max. The CCTV footage from the car park. You could have got rid of them, but you didn't. That's what real criminals do. That's what you are. How many times did you watch the tape? Hey, Kathy, how much pleasure did it give you over and over? I'm telling you, turn my world upside down. There was no going back from there. Every moment, every day after that was a nightmare. What do you think it was like for me? I had to tell complete strangers they lost members of their family all the time. Telling my own kids they lost their mom tore me apart! I know. I'm sorry I put you through that. Your kids mean the world to you. That's why you're here now. I'm under no illusions. You used them. To get my attention. I've done for you. Stop, please. I want you to know what it feels like to be hurt, humiliated. You ruined my life. I could have been your life. We could have had a family. Family? Where's my baby, Kathy? I made you pregnant, didn't I? Yeah, I wanted to be pregnant, especially by you. I had to think first maybe you was going to get you for murder. I had to give you an alibi. Please, don't you? You got an alibi for yourself at the same time. No, I didn't do it for me. I was being investigated for Tanya's murder. I should have been with her. than that. If I'd known, I wouldn't have touched you with a barge pole. I bought you a watch. <laughs> what? After we made love. We slept together after getting drunk. It's called sex. I smashed it. I had such good fun buying it. I was nearly late for work. I prepared her. I was going to ask you out again. I was going to give it to you over a nice dinner. And then I bumped into you in the corridor. I wasn't expecting to see you. I was so nervous. But you didn't want to go for a nice dinner, did you? You 
didn't even want to go for a cup of tea in the canteen. In fact, you didn't want to know me at all, did you? People are so decent, Brandon. How decent do you think my colleagues have been about me now, eh? I bet they can't wait to send the dogs in. Flush me out. I can just imagine them all trawling through my possessions. Nixon thinking she can profile me like she knows anything about me. See, that is the problem. Nobody has ever wanted to know about me ever since I came to Sun Hill. That's maybe why they're all crawling in the dark now, eh? That was clever. Is this gonna affect you? We're working on it, love. You stay here. Coincidence? No. It's Kathy. What do you want to do? Well, the emergency generator should kick in. Is that in the boiler room, too? I don't know. Sir? Nick? Could you hear anything down there? Nothing. Right. Call in an engineer, Neil. Let's see if we can take back some control. Oh, don't worry. Things always seem worse in the dark. That lady doctor, what's it? Sandra Malek. What was that all about? An Asian thing. Was sleeping with me an Asian thing? You're different. Not really. I sorted Sandra Malik out. She had me a bit worried with all her official complaints, but I just scared the life out of her. She warned me about you. The generator's been a bit slow. Any way around it? We're working on it. Brilliant. What are we looking for? Anything that might tell us what she's up to with Brandon. MIT haven't been able to get much of a sense of history from any of her personal belongings. No family photos, no photos of any of her friends. Oh, wow. Joanna would love these dolls. But then Joanna's a kid. Mm. Kathy isn't. Apparently they're not stored away. They're all laid out. Around her bedroom. What about Max? Oh, what about him? What was the connection to me? It wasn't what. But you killed him anyway. Yeah. He got in the way. Well, at last. They only have emergency lighting, no computers. We could do without the noise. Imagine how loud it is in the boiler room. Richard. Hey, you got engaged to the man. What was that about? Was I supposed to beg you not to... I don't want to talk about him. He's a waste of space. Not to Polly. No, Polly's naive. That's why she's in prison. Yeah. It was your evidence. I put her there. I didn't put her fingerprints on the syringe. No, you wouldn't be so careless, would Certainly you? Certainly not. I can't stand it! Come on, Brandon. Let's bring this thing to a close now. Find out if they can make any progress with the program. Sure. Up yours. Why did you let Tanya die? She was going to destroy everything, ruin my career. She was on to you, wasn't she? She was always braver than me. 
suddenly put it all together. The business about Jordan being abused, I tried to tell her. It was you that set her up for the drink driving, but she chipped away at me. Like I was on the stand, made me feel pathetic. As she was leaving the car park, I know she was going straight to you. And I knew you'd believe her and not me. I couldn't stand the thought of you being together again. It was inevitable she had to be stopped. That's when I told her. She disgusted you. As she ran at me, she hit me and I pushed her. Was she talking to you about getting back together with me? Kathy. Was she? Why else would she have contacted me? She knew we were close. She wanted my advice. And you made her think me and you were together? Well, we were close. It was never just a friendship. You gotta admit that. I had a chance to have my wife back. To have a family again. And you got rid of that for me. She would have hurt you again, Brandon. How long before she strayed again, eh? Oh, you're a career cop. Would she be in any more happy, any less lonely? No. The only person who understands a cop is another cop. Shut your mouth! You don't understand me. I'm not interested in you, Kathy. I never have been. You abused your position to set up Tanya. You used it to walk into my kids' school and take them away. God knows what you've put them through over the past couple of days. How was Zoe and Jordan ever supposed to get over that? Oh, it was a terrible thing to do. I wasn't thinking of... I shouldn't have put them through that ordeal. It's a terrifying experience. As another day goes by, not a moment, and I don't remember those 12 hours. What are you going on about? Seven, Brandon. I was abducted. Wow. Abducted. Well, you know that beat HIV and being pregnant. Well done. You don't believe me. Are you surprised? I've told you the truth about everything else. This is one thing I don't have to lie about. Being abducted was the very reason I became a cop. Well. It's just sad. She's got cuttings here from all her arrests that made it into the papers. Well, I've got to admit, I started one of those. Oh, I know, we all do, but it takes back to the beginning of her career. Hang on, why's she got this? Notorious child killer, the teacher, captured at last. I was waiting in the bus stop after school. On your own? Age seven? No, Charlotte. My friend who lived next door and our older brother Stephen was supposed to be there. We always got the bus back together. I didn't know at the time, but Stephen had been kept behind from school. A couple of buses came, kids got on. It was always drummed into me, don't go anywhere without Charlotte and Stephen. It got dark, I was scared. Let me guess. It was raining. No. No, it wasn't raining. In fact, it wasn't even particularly cold. I remember because I didn't have a jumper underneath my blazer. Thought to have died of multiple injuries. Local schoolgirl Charlotte Evans Pictured with her school friend and neighbour, Kathy Bradford. Well, this car pulled in. And a guy asked if I wanted to lift. Of course I said no, stranger, danger and all that. 
As I was waiting for my friends. They're waiting for us outside. Let's not drag this out any longer. The press dubbed him the teacher. The teacher? Because of the evidence he left on the victim's bodies. He used a fountain pen. A very sharp fountain pen. And he used to write poetry and stuff. Like tattoos. It took so long to get the ink off. No matter how hard my mummy scrubbed, she couldn't get it off. It broke in the skin. This teacher guy has killed four kids. And all little girls. Mm. Michael Lincoln, known as the teacher, was caught by police before killing his fifth victim. Caught by police before killing his fifth victim. <laughs> he tried to lead a normal life after that. with it. Don't you remember when we slept together? You asked what it was on my back. You asked if I had a tattoo. No, I don't. Well, no, it wasn't a tattoo. I was lying about that. It's not the sort of thing you mentioned on the first date, is it? So what happened to this guy? Well, you can look it up yourself. Before me, he killed four children. I was his last victim. When oh, he was a suspect early on, they even questioned him. They raided his caravan and found me. Did you give evidence? Didn't appear in any papers. It's stuff that no, no parent or child should ever know. The police were really kind to me. They gave me Chris and, and drinks. They really spent time with me because of what I told him, that he was put away. Hey, it doesn't matter if you don't believe me. But you've got to believe. I didn't lay a finger on Zoe and Jordan. No. It was terrible taking them, I know that now, but look. I didn't hurt them. I, I didn't hurt them, I promise you. Maybe you didn't want to know that about me. Maybe you don't even care. You just want me to walk out that door so you can get along with your own life. Do you think you're ready to walk out that door? No. If you want, I'll be with you. No, you won't. This will be the last time we ever see each other. I tried to look so pretty for you. You do look pretty. I'm no good at relationships, Brandon. I don't know how they work. Everybody else finds it so easy. I get so jealous, so crazy with... Maybe I did want to be, don't you? I wanted you all to myself. You should have had some counselling. Oh, yeah. There were social workers. The guy in charge of the case, he stuck around for a bit. And he wrote a book about it and retired. When the novelty wore off. Even my parents thought it was a bit of an inconvenience. I'm sorry, Kathy. Thank you. What's this? A 
Oh. Not such a good girl after all. Solicitor's letter, OK? Right. In relation to the charge of wasting police time, I can confirm that no further action will be taken against your daughter, Catherine, primarily due to her age. The false information Catherine offered the police regarding the whereabouts of Michael Lincoln... The teacher. ...seriously compromised the police investigation and the safety of Charlotte Evans. Tell me about your parents. They're dead. I didn't kill him. He's still with us. It's so good to hear his voice. Nice work. Thanks. I didn't say you did. You have uh, just never mentioned them before. I died about a year ago. I'm sorry. Did you go to their funerals? They wouldn't have gone to mine. Nick, what's the problem? The uh, inspector was wondering if you have any plans to end the siege, sir. Want to give Brandon every chance. He's winning around. What makes you say that? I never wanted children. That was an accident. I was never allowed to forget that. I was always told never to expect any brothers or sisters. Every birthday, every Christmas, I was given a doll instead. I ended up with hundreds of them. Brandon? Is everything all right? Yes, I I'm fine, Gina. Just to let you know that Zoe and Jordan seem fine and they've gone off to St Hughes where a doctor will examine them properly. Are you happy with that? Yes. Uh, Thanks, I, I appreciate it. They're fine, I've told him. We're trying to have a chat here, Inspector. Kathy. Kathy, come on, this situation needs to be resolved. You leave this, Gina. I'm in here, you're not. We can't talk in here. No. Quick! <laughs> moving him. We're not set up for the other room, are we? No, sir. Nick. Yes, sir. Tell the inspector not to try and communicate with Cathy and to wait for my instructions. Yes, sir. Is this where you kept my kids? They were fine. I set up a bed there, look, where they could sleep. Stinks a bit. I let him use that tin there for a toilet. While we can't hear them, we've lost control. Kathy's killed one person, maybe more. We're ready for your team. We're going in. Now. 
You kill my wife, you sick bitch! I'm gonna kill you! It's time. Do it. I know you don't agree with what I did, but get over it. Previously on the bill. What are you doing? We're meant to be together. Don't do this. I beg you, Kathy, don't please! Please! Oh! No! 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 Oh! Just got a slash wound, it'll be all right. I expect you want to be it. We'll make arrangements for you to meet them on the hospital. Good. What about madam? Psychiatric assessment? Call Stafford Road, see if they can take Miss Bradford as soon as we got her booked in. Leave the psychiatric to them. Come on. Come on. I want her out of here there now. There she comes, sir. Come on. Stay in. <laughs> Just grab the watch for me. Rolex. Four grand's worth. Doesn't that hurt? I've got a high pain threshold. How about a description of your attacker? 
First thing I knew, he smacked me with a lump of wood. I fell to the ground. He grabbed me by my suit lapel and punched me in the face. So there was a moment when you were face to face? Yeah, there was something about him. I don't know. Right. Enjoy what the peddler's on? CCTV. There might be one or two faces amongst the crowd. Great. Right. What are you doing? Forensic evidence. Blood, saliva. With any luck, your mugger's DNA will be on file. I need to empty the pockets. That's OK. We can do that. Come on, everyone does a bit of Charlie. We'll pop back for your statement tomorrow, Mr. Greaves. When your um, pain threshold has worn off. Brandon. How are you? Okay. Took guts to do what you did. To go in here and front her out. You reckon? Okay, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, looks like you got some visitors. Come here. You okay, Daddy? I'm fine. Sweetheart, I'm fine. Let me look at you. What did they say about the drugs Cathy gave them? Doc reckons a light sedative. They've kept the fluids up. The kids are still woozy, but they're fine. Hey, you. You got a hug for your old man. You see, I told you he was okay. Stay. You have some time with your kids. I'll just be outside. I'm also arresting you for the suspected murder of Tom Wilson. Kidnap and theft, imprisonment of John and Zoe Kane, as well as grievous bodily harm. Do you understand? Do you understand? Frisco. So who's who? That's Liam Greaves on the left, the assault victim. If that's not an invitation to a fight, I don't know what is. You got an idea on the other guy? Who are you, trying to match the names and faces? What about this bloke here, the one who split them up? Mark Bechter, the victim's colleague. Now, according to the rest of the people in the bar, Bechter left just after Greaves, so he might have seen the mugging. Bechter might have assaulted him himself, of course. Nah, Bechter's wearing a suit. Greaves reckons that the attacker wasn't that smartly dressed. Right, let's off to hospital then. Thanks. Uh, hang on a sec. Whip round, Brandon and the kids. Oh, it's gonna be a while before I can change that. Uh, you'd feel guilty too if you just accused a colleague of murdering their ex wife. And you got work to do, Constable. Yes, McAllister. You've been summoned by MIT. They want to establish what you knew about the Tanya Kane case. Or rather, what you thought you knew. Interview room two. Hello. Welcome back. What well am mate. What for? Well, it's not every day you get taken hostage, is it? Look, Kurt, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. We're all coppers. We know the score. Oh, sure, sure. Have you forgotten that you can't work with an injury? I just wanted to get my statement out of the way. Clear the entry. Make sure that's all you do. Do you remember anything from last night? No facial details, nothing. Sorry. Probably some local waster who'd rather steal than earn a living. They're all scum round there. So what were you doing round there? Giving it such a dump, of course. I work a few streets up in the square mile. City analyst. Devon you and La Rock. No, no. Peddler's bar. Get spit and sawdust for a professional like yourself, wouldn't you say? The strippers are hot. Area's not all bad then. This was taken on a CCTV at the bar last night. 
What was the fight about? No idea. This guy just barges into me as soon as I leave the gents. Your visit to the gents. Business or pleasure? It was a mate's birthday last night. It just got passed about. Yeah, sure, I had a line, but just to keep the peace. Funny old thing, cocaine. Makes people a bit full of it. You wouldn't be the first to start a fight and come off the worst for wear. Hey, I'm the victim here, or can't you see that? Perfectly. According to the papers, you guys couldn't spot a deranged woman in your own rank and fight. What chance have you got solving my case? I suppose I could always nick you for possession of cocaine. Some people think the police are loopy for doing what we do. They don't like us very much. Certainly don't trust us. But we still do the job. Because believe it or not, we care. I appreciate the mission statement. But I'd rather have my watch back. I'll be in touch, Mr. Brief. Well, that answers the question how Cathy got back into the yard. Still doesn't explain how she gained access to the main building. Sorry, sir, ma'am. The Directorate for Professional Standards have arrived. Oh, the Metro Home Firing Squad. Then you'd better order me a blindfold. Police solicitor called. Mm. They're doing all they can to push her appeal through. Good news. You're right. Forensics have found Bradford's swipe card in the boiler room. Apparently still alive. I thought you gave orders for it to be cancelled the minute Brandon's kids went missing. I may be the one to carry the can, but whoever failed to follow it through will get a kick in the backside. Mm. On my way out. What would you like to see next? Right, partner. D.I. Manson's idea, second a few officers into CID. Take the pressure off while some of you are being interviewed by MIT. I think I'm OK with this, Mum. Thanks very much. What? And deny a little Poirot his chance to shine? Oh, I don't think so. So who's that, then? Daryl Jennings. Convicted of GBH. Released on licence a month ago. He's a prime suspect in a mugging last night. So what do you reckon then? Search his gaff? Easy, Tiger. Let's talk to the victim's colleague, Mark Bechter, first, see what he has to say. If he can give us a positive ID, we'll save some time. So what got Nick then? Sarah. Liam Greaves is the bank's star analyst. I have high hopes for him. He'll be competing for my job as CEO in the not too distant future. Anyway, I'll leave you with Mark. We won't keep you long, Mr. Bechter. Listen, um, the barmaid saw you leaving peddlers minutes after Liam Greaves did. Oh, I didn't want to miss the last tube home. The attack happened in the street alongside the bar. It's on the way. I took a different route. There's a great sandwich shop at the top of Loftus Street. Oh, really? Look, Liam's a friend of mine. If I could help you in any way, but I didn't see anything. Could you tell us what happened in the fight with Mr. Greaves last night? Well, it was hardly a fight. More handbags at 20 paces. But you broke it up. Well, the bloke... What, this bloke? Yes, that bloke was giving us the evil eye all night. I think Liam pushed in front of him at the bar by mistake. Why is that, then? The cocaine make him a bit uppity, did it? Oh, yeah. We all know you had a line or two last night. Please, could you keep your voice down? Only they have a very stringent drugs policy here. Not exactly my problem, is it? Look, I'm really sorry. I didn't see Liam being mugged, so I'm afraid I just can't help you. Well, we're sorry to have wasted your time. Well, not at all. I'm sorry to have wasted yours. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Marie's trial. They brought the date forward. Finally, the world gets to hear how my wife beat the hell out of me week in and week out. Good luck with it. I hope you get what you want, Jim. Listen, look. Why don't you go home? No one's going to thank you for coming in. Because life goes on, doesn't it? 
Despite the fact Kathy probably won't stand trial. Well, the psychiatrist thinks she's unfit. The super's just told me that's the case, yeah. How are you about that? Fine. See you later. This is where we found Liam Greaves. So what we're looking for? Witnesses. If Mark Bechter won't help us out, maybe we'll get lucky elsewhere. What, you really think that Mark's pulling a fast one? It's just a feeling. Seemed like a decent bloke to me. Check out the local contract cleaners. Maybe one of these buildings gets cleaned at night. Someone might have seen something. Don't even go there. Oi, mate, hold up. You normally doss around here, do you? I'm not your mate. Mate. Were you here last night? See anyone get mugged? Keith. Keith. Man. What's happened? Breakfast. <laughs> Who's this? DC Perkins, son ill Nick. It's okay. You boys see anyone get mugged last night? Identify yourself. Sit down, Keith. I said identify yourself. PC Tony Stapp, Sunil. Turn that off. Oscar. Turn that thing off. Five nine I said turn it off. 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 Turn I can deal with it. I wish you'd go home, Brandon. Come on. Honey, I'm only going to take a statement. She's in there. Mrs. Burridge. Thanks. Right. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's all right. All right! Can you empty your pockets for me, please, Mr. Sampson? We have some rolling tobacco, some papers, and a Fulci's travel card. What regiment were you in? The Welsh Hussars. Fusiliers, mate. When did you get out? Look, I just want to lay down. Stick him in cell number four and get him a cup of tea and something to eat while you're at it. I don't think he's high. I just think he's unwell. So, get the FME, we'll give him the once over before we interview him. Must be our week for not as eight as. Where was the handbag, Mrs. Burridge? Oh, the front passenger seat of the car. I can only have been in the post office two minutes. Can you remember what was in the bag? My checkbook, bus pass, some photographs, sentimental stuff, and an eternity ring John gave me in 1964. Can you describe it? It's an emerald surrounded by diamonds. It's insured for 1500 but it's worth a million times that to me. So what happens next? Well, the crime management unit will make an assessment whether to pursue the case but... Don't hold my breath. I should have known after last time. My husband and I were burgled three years ago. They didn't even take fingerprints. Something about priority and resources. Well, we feel the same as you. I know, love. Don't worry. Well, but I, well, I want to help you. I thought you'd all be too busy with the stabbing of this policeman. The newspaper said it was some deranged woman. Yeah. How is the officer concerned? Is okay, I hope. Fine. I'm doing fine. It was you. Oh, I'm honoured. How do you mean? Well, to have a hero oh. dealing with my oh, complaints. A, a hero is the last thing I am. But you're here working. What dedication you It's just a pity there's nothing you can do. My insurance company said I needed a, um, a crime number from you. Then I'll be on my way. I, I don't suppose you've got your car with you, have you? Why? 
We've got a forensics team upstairs. Maybe they could take a look. Well, it's outside. Okay, well, can you hold on for one minute? I'll go and ask. Oh, I suppose so. Don't worry, Mrs. Burridge. You leave this with me. The medical examiner thinks you might be suffering from, um... Post-traumatic stress syndrome. It's just flashbacks. Is that why you attack PC stamps radio? Is it some sort of trigger? Those knuckles look a bit swollen. You didn't get those injuries from assaulting me, did you? Fighting's a part of living on the streets. Survive or die, yeah? That's how I got this. The man was mugged last night around the corner from where you dossed down. Did you see it? No. We're not here to discuss that. I'm just trying to eliminate him from our inquiries. So where were you? I was too drunk to remember. Sorry. Interview terminated at 10.41. I've asked forensics to check Keith Sanson's DNA swab with samples from Liam Greaves' jacket. Well, that's very helpful, love. Thank you very much. We might not need it. How come? One of the office cleaners said she saw an IC1 male with ginger hair cross the street to avoid the assault. He had a swanky suit on. It's Mark Beckett, wasn't it? Yeah. I told you he was lying, didn't I? All right. Liam was getting a pasting. I'm not very good at physical confrontation. I always hated rugby at school. I thought he was meant to be a mate of yours. Well, I phoned for the ambulance. How do you expect us to solve this problem if you don't give us pieces of the puzzle? Look, um, can you give us a description this time? I mean, was he fat, thin, tall, short? About 5'8", maybe. He had a hood up, like a sweat top. Listen, you won't tell Liam, will you? I'd, I'd rather remain anonymous. Why not? You've been the invisible man so far. I'll have a word. OK. All I need is your car keys. But I thought forensics didn't bother with car crime anymore. Oh, uh, I bent one of their arms. You never know, we might get a result. If the thief lent in to grab your bag, there's a chance he touched the sill. I admire your optimism. Well, I'm a copper. I solve crimes, that's what I do. Let's see if your taxi's here. This way, sir. Gary? My shirt, Gary. The one that got away, yeah? You said yourself you didn't have the grounds to hold him. Not yet. The tenor says he's our man. Look, just because Keith Sampson's been in a fight, it doesn't make him our man, does it? I mean, Mark Bechter said that Liam Greaves is a tackle wore a hooded top, yeah? You check this out. Look like anyone we know. Daryl Jennings, for instance. How did the BRU get on tracing his address? I've not got a clue, but we do know that he likes a drink, so he's bound to show up at Peddler sooner or later, isn't he? We'll lead on then, Sherlock. There they go. The chinless wonder brigade going out to enjoy a liquid lunch. Summons is a nice rounder. That's nice. Well, few got them souls, guys, anyway. Here we go. Excuse me. Darren Jennings. <laughs> Detective Constable Best, son Hill. So... What was the fight about between you and Liam Greaves last night? Who? The bloke you barged into outside the gents in Peddlers. That muppet. He was eyeing up my bird all night. Slapped her ass as she walked past his table. Well, she's a stripper, isn't she? Don't mean she's public property. They can look but not touch, yeah? What, and you decided to show him who was boss, did you? Yeah, why not? Blokes like him think just because they got money and got expensive clobber, they're better than the rest of us. Know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. According to our sources, you left the bar just after the incident. Liam Greaves was attacked outside the same place half an hour later. Can you tell us where you were at ten past eleven? At a mate's. Picked up a video on the way. Video store around the corner. Asked Dan behind the counter he's safe. Interview terminated at twelve thirty-one. 
What's your problem? Jenny and Alibi checks out, didn't it? It was like you had your feet up through the whole interview. That's because I know he had nothing to do with it. Your heart's not barely in this case, is it? Look, whatever I might think about Liam Greaves and his bootlickers doesn't affect the way I do my job, all right? Yeah, right. Oh, I see. Do you think suck it up to one's going to help, dear? What? Let me tell you a story. My mother lived around the East End all her life. Then the council decides to sell off the land around her to some developer who wants to build loft apartments. He comes in, starts putting pressure on the street. They sell up. She lives near me now. She doesn't know anyone, and she doesn't go out because she's too scared. Why? Because some git like Greaves wants a view he doesn't even appreciate. Um, excuse me, would one of you children like to take this message away? It's from the pawn shop on Three Acre Lane. And a tramp tried to sell them a Rolex. Got a description? It's all on there, 510 Scottish accent. It's tougher. There's only one set of fingerprints on the windowsill. They're quite dainty. A woman or a child, maybe? Mrs. Burridge, the owner. Now, these are more interesting. Dents here and here. This one's still got traces of brick dust. There's even one on the roof. So? Well, they obviously aren't a very good shot. Where did she say she was parked? Post office, Hasker Avenue. By the market? Well, smashing a car window would have drawn a bit of attention. Whoever threw that brick took a few goes to break it, I reckon. No, thank you. Gary, look, all I need is a lowdown on one Tuffy Saunders and I'll be out here, uh... Will you just let me... I, I know what I'm looking for. Didn't realise when he liked the pushy type. I'm sorry, mate, how do you spell this woman's name again? B-U-R-R-A-G-E. Look, um... You will look after her, won't you? And he's not interested in me. There you go, J. Burridge, burglary 2000. What's on the inventory of stolen items? TV, video, silver worth over 200 quid and some jewellery, including a ring and emerald one. With diamonds in That's it? That's right, never recovered. Thank you. Pleasure. No, no, just stop here. I'll walk up. Thanks for the lift. I appreciate it. It's fine. Refs are overrated anyway. Do you always come in with you? I'll be fine on my own. Thank you. Okay. I've come to take her down to the station. We've had a breakthrough on your case. Oh. Yeah, we caught the boy who stole your bag. He confessed to the lot. Oh, that's really good news. Isn't it? If you could verify the picture so we can make arrangements to return your possessions. That is your ring, isn't it? Yes. The same one that was stolen three years ago and never returned. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. So am I. I was at the soup kitchen when the attack took place last night. You asked Sister Celia. So how did you get the watch, mate? I found it in a bin this morning. Why taffy, Mr Saunders? My mother's Welsh. You were in the army as well, weren't you? Yeah, the guards. Do you know how many Japanese tourists have my photo in their albums? Sorry? The bear skin in the tunic, son. Horse guards parade. Now look at me. Yeah. Arrested for D&D &D 16 times. 
assaulting a police officer twice. Mm -hmm. You've been referred to every charity from crisis to help a dog at Christmas and yet you still go back on the streets. A man's free to choose. How long have you known Keith Sampson? What's he got to do with anything? Well, you're both military. I mean, did you serve together or what? Of course not. There's so many of us on the streets. We could start our own regiment. The Queen's own failures. Mr Saunders, do you own a hooded top? No. Did you assault Liam Greaves for this watch? Perhaps it was your mate Keith Sampson. Perhaps you worked together. Look, what is this? Huh? A kangaroo court? You ask the man yourself. Well, we will be speaking to him again. Oh, typical. I hardly get the time of day when I got mugged last month. That's right. They got a medal, didn't they? Desert Storm. The Gulf War. The first Gulf War. Pretty horrific stuff. I fought for you. I fought for you and your family 3,000 miles away. And, well, am I now, what? All arms that crime number. We still have to charge you with theft by finding. Mm, whatever. What did you do? Break the window here and drive straight round to the station. I didn't think anyone would actually be bothered to investigate. Why? Do you think every copper sits on their backside all day? Well, all I wanted was a crime number for my insurance. But John didn't leave me much apart from the house and, and, and the gas man said I needed a new buyer and I just didn't have the money. What about the first robbery? Was that a setup as well? No. The, the insurance company paid out for everything we lost and th that's what gave me the idea. Change companies and re-register the ring. Why did you take me for a mug? Oh, I didn't mean to. Not you of all people. Give me one reason why I shouldn't arrest you now. I have never done anything like this before. And that makes it okay to make me a fool. I didn't mean to, please. You're scaring me. I trusted you! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, forget it, forget it. Here. Here's your crime number. Good luck with your insurance. Oh. What the hell do you think you're playing at? You're lucky that woman doesn't want to make a complaint. She had me. Hook, line and sinker. Another one. What kind of copper does that make me? Oh, stop trying to prove yourself, Brandon. You shouldn't have even have come in today. You should be at home with your kids. How can I? I can't even look them in the face. You know where the hostel is, don't you? Thanks, but I've got a bed of mine. Well, part of your bail conditions is that you stay there, you know, before your court appearance tomorrow. Look, those places are full of drug addicts. They're more dangerous than the streets. The man won't you accept any help? I tried. What's on offer? Some pokey wee bed set in the back beyond. If the depression doesn't get you, loneliness will. Well, you deserve better than this, mate. Tell the MOD, they're still sending boys your age around the world to fight somebody else's war with guns that don't work and boots that don't fit. Even ask them to put out other people's fires when they get back. They don't question it, they just do it. That's loyalty. Well, what about your bail conditions? I've never missed a court appearance yet. I'll be there. You've got my word. Well, that stuff counts for something. You risked your life in that boiler room. As far as Zoe and Jordan are concerned, you're a hero. For what? I let Cathy get near them in the first place. They didn't lose their mother because of her. They lost her because of me. Oh, don't do this to yourself, Brandon. Yeah. I'm the one who told Cathy that my ex-wife was going to go off to Scotland with the kids. And then Cathy made the decision to kill Tanya. It was out of your hands. 
How did I get involved with all this? Stop it now, Brandon. Well, this is going to eat you up. Now, the main thing is, you've still got your kids. And they love you so much. They really need you right now. You're right. I'm always right. <laughs> what would I do without you, eh? My mate's fault. I just think you've got other priorities right now. <sighs> Two of them, to be precise. Yeah. Let's get out of here. No, next. That's him. The guy with the nose. He had a scar on his nose. I want him charged. Well, I appreciate that, mate, but we've got to find him first. He's ex-army, lives on the streets. I don't pay my taxes to have you standing around making excuses why you can't apprehend someone. I want that scum banged up. He's not scum. The man beat me up and nicked my watch. It makes him scum in my book. It's people like him that keep this country free. Anyway, why don't we... Um, well, it comes to something when the police side with the criminal. I thought you were supposed to protect decent people. Do you mean you and the decent Mark Bechter? What's he got to do with it? Well, if the decent Mark Bechter has stepped in to help you, he may have had a better description to go on. Terry, don't. He saw my assault and walked. I can't comment on that. Hey, anyway, Mr. Greaves, um, as you watch. Just follow me. Yeah, uh, my name's Mrs. Fox. Um, I believe that PC Carver deals with race crimes. Yeah. Okay. One hooded top with blood spatters on it. I think that's the final nail in Keith Sampson's coffin, don't you? We found it in the search of the alley. We better go and pick him up then. What is your problem exactly? I know you don't agree with what I did, but get over it. Mark Bechter wanted to remain anonymous. That's his right. Yeah, well, him and Greaves are both as bad as each other, if you ask me. I don't get it. You work with rapists and nonces and stuff, and you don't even bat an eyelid. I will not be treated like a whipping boy by some prat who thinks money can buy him anything. Didn't have you down as a working class hero. Oh, give me a break. We're both from the same side of the fence here. Yeah, but it's all right for you, though, isn't it? You're already a DC. How many shots do you think I'm going to get at this? Oh, I see. It's I'm all right, Jack, is it? Well, yeah. What is going on in here? It's just a difference of opinion, sir. No. The Department of Professional Standards are here. Do I have to be responsible for everybody's behaviour? Sir. No. Pratt. Sunhill, CID. I'll be right there. Where are you going? Out. Oh. Liam's out with a client at the moment. Ever since you told him I saw the fight, he's been trying to get me the sack. How did Liam get hold of this? A bit of Friday night hijinks about a month ago, a few beers and so on. Only Liam prefers his cocaine. He gets a bit leery. Making millions for clients every week can be quite potent. In other words, he thinks he's God. Well, we stopped to buy cigarettes at an off-license. This tramped ahead of us in the queue, counting out change to buy a four-pack. Takes forever. What, Liam lost his rug? They had words. Liam wouldn't let it drop when we got outside. Reckoned that the tramp begging for cash was just another tax. He wanted a rebate. So we beat him up. All for 96 pence. Then he found the medal. What time's Liam getting back? He could be gone for the rest of the day. Right, I need a warrant. I'll be back in an hour. Mrs. Fox. It was the only way that I could guarantee that you'd see me. Murray, your bail conditions. I know I'm not meant to have contact with you, but I got a letter from CPS this morning. Peter. Look, I want a 
I'll just show you this. AA meetings, 90 meetings, 90 days. My sponsor, God, she's so great. Her name's Sheila. You've she... got to keep that to yourself. It's confidential. I'm trying here. I am really trying. Do we really have to go through all this? Don't try to manipulate me, Marie. I'm not going to take it. You're not even supposed to talk to me. Perhaps if you told me what you're looking for, I think help. The medal, Mr. Greaves. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. The Billingworth portfolio. Meeting started five minutes ago. Thank you, Mark. Oh, I get it. Well done. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, what, you as well? Yeah. Nice watch, by the way. You all right? Not really. Turns out you were right. Those city blokes deserve shooting. What do you mean? Mark Bector set me up. Said Liam Greaves wanted revenge on him for turning his back when he got beaten up, so he tries to get him sacked. Well, in return, Mark Bector decided to try and snitch on Greaves about the mugging of a tramp. You mean he beat up Taffy? So basically all Keith Sansa was doing was sticking up for his mate? Greaves had the medal in his drawer. Only when I get back with a warrant, it's gone. And suddenly Mark Bector's back on the team wearing Greaves' four grand watch. He's used you to cut a deal with Greaves, isn't he? Yeah, well... I still want Samson charged with assault. That's mad, isn't it? The world pays out to blokes like them and dunks on the likes of Saunders and Samson. When did it all get messed up, eh? You noticed it too. What are you doing? Having a bit of a tidy. Right, let's go and pick up the poor unfortunate Keith Samson, shall we? Well, we could. File a report saying that he's moved out of the area. Come. Sir. Good man. I can add your statement to my report for the borough commander. Good. Thank you for coming in today. While you're here, I wanted to talk to you about the statement you gave for the night of Tanya's murder. Jack tells me you've admitted it was false. Kathy forced your hand. Yes, sir. MIT will want a full story, and you might face a discipline. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure that it doesn't affect your standing here. Thank you, sir, but uh, it's not quite as simple as that. What's this? It's my resignation. I thought this job was about protecting the good from the bad, but how can you do that when you don't know where the line is anymore? You know there's no black and white. We try to make sense of the grey. Well, Zoe and Jordan need to be with their dad, especially now. And you know what, sir? I need to be with them. They remind me that I'm doing a good job bringing them up knowing right from wrong. Take some time out. Have as much sick leave as you need. And then what? Come back and bang my head against a brick wall? No. The only people worth protecting are my family. Please. Reconsider. I need to get home to my kids. news. Now you can strike Keith Sampson off your most wanted list because we picked him up for D&D. &D. Well, I thought you'd be pleased. What the you talk to me now, Jim Carver? Oi! Get yourself out of here right now! You're due to appear at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And what about bail? He's liable to abscond, so he stays in custody until his court appearance. Number two, please. 
some result that is. Oh, we'll win some, Lucy. Well, what's the point in doing your best if your best isn't good enough? I've got to go somewhere. I'll see you later. Well, I'll be back. Don't worry. Sorry. Please let me go, please. Excuse me, do you know something called PC Can you help me, please? I didn't mean to do it! There must be some mistake. Liam was the one who had his watch stolen. Our intelligence suggests that Liam's attacker was simply trying to reclaim a medal stolen from a comrade. The same medal that was shown to one of my colleagues by Mark Bechter. Now, hang on. Liam is a good man. He works hard. Play hard, too, does he? It's a high-pressure job. The team needs to let off steam. Does that include taking Class A drugs? We found him in possession of half a gram of cocaine. Obviously, any employee found with drugs will be dealt with severely. Oh, I don't doubt that. Devenu and LaRocco got a pretty impressive reputation. You wouldn't want to dent that with a team of police, for instance, engaged in a fingertip search of your premises. No. No. Maybe that's something you'd like to deal with internally, so to speak. Will that be all, DC Perkins? The medal we're looking for seems to have disappeared. Give me a bell if it turns up, will you? Why, Murray? How else could I get your attention? You've abandoned me. How do you think this is going to look when the courts learn that you've been arrested yet again? Think of Ben. Don't hide behind my son. We all know why you're really doing this. Because you love making my life a misery. It gives you a sense of power. I am doing this for you. To try to make you see that you are destroying yourself and everything around you. I am just trying to help. Please drop the charges. You'll come back up. Mm -hmm. Let's start again. Plead guilty, Marie. For me. We've had a result. Mark Bechter suddenly got a conscience and returned the medal. Liam Greaves has had his P45 in the post. He's been sacked. Oh, no. Eh? The MD of Devonu and the Rock. Not a bad guy, really. What, you went to see him? You got a death wish or something? What if the MD decided that you were being malicious towards Liam Greaves and made a complaint against you? Could have been your P45. That's why I didn't tell you. Well, it's lucky for you it's worked out. Rob took a message from Liam Greaves about half an hour ago. Greaves says he doesn't want the assault dealt with conventionally anymore. It's just a shame we couldn't nail him for the assault on Saffer. You nearly hit the bullseye, but not quite. Well, let's go and break the news, though. Saffer will be pleased to see this again. Go back in uniform after this, aren't you? Well done. I think you did a good job. Partner. Gina. Mm -hmm. The DPS are on my back about Cathy's swipe card not being cancelled. Any news? Yeah, it was Jim who did the paperwork to get it made for it, and his line manager, June, checked it. So where did it get to? Well, it has to be signed off, you know, Inspector or above, and June sent it up to you. Gina Gold? Yeah, he's here with... Yes, I'll tell him. OK, thank you. The application form. I forgot to sign it. That was the borough commander. She wants to see you first thing tomorrow morning. You know what this means. It's all my fault. So you forgot to cancel a swipe card? You had other priorities, like looking for two missing children. Well, let's hope the borough commander sees it that way, because if she doesn't, I'm out. 
next time on The Bill. If I can get Marie to face up to her problems, I'd have done her a favour. It's not Marie I'm worried about. There's a loose cock somewhere. We need to find it. You're looking at it. I can't wait to get up on that stand and tell everybody what kind of a husband you really are.